you trying to figure out where to live in Louisville, Kentucky? Maybe you're moving here and you're just not that familiar with the area. In some of my other videos, I've shared with you some of my favorite urban neighborhoods in Louisville, Kentucky. But what if you're looking for a more suburban feel? Well, if that's the case, then this is the video for you. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some of Louisville's best suburban neighborhoods. Welcome back, I'm Katie Skeen, a local realtor here in Louisville, Kentucky. And on my channel, we discuss all things related to living in and moving to Louisville, Kentucky. So if you're interested in more information about what life is like in Louisville, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. That way you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Today, we're talking about three of the top suburbs in Louisville, Kentucky. Now today, we're gonna to be talking about three of my top suburbs of Louisville, Kentucky, but there's so many great neighborhoods in Louisville. So if you're thinking about making a move to Louisville, be sure to text me or call me, reach out in some way so that we can chat. I'm just gonna be highlighting three today, but there are so many great neighborhoods in Louisville, Kentucky, and I wanna make sure you know all about them. Maybe you're already familiar with Louisville. If that's the case, will you comment below and tell us what your favorite Louisville suburb is? The first suburb I wanna highlight is Middletown, Kentucky. Now I'm gonna use this term Middletown loosely because I really wanna to refer to this whole east end of Louisville that happens between the Watterson Expressway and the Gene Snyder Expressway. There's so many little great towns and neighborhoods out there that surround Middletown. They include Anchorage, Douglas Hills, Plainview, Hurstbourne, Linden. There's so many great areas out there on the east end of Louisville. Part of the reason why people love this area is all of these neighborhoods are conveniently located off Shelbyville Road. It's close to restaurants, shopping, schools. It's home to Southeast Christian Church, which is one of the biggest churches in the nation. So there's a lot of amenities and a lot to offer out in Middletown. Two of our biggest malls, the Oxmoor Mall and the St. Matthews Mall are both located on Shelbyville Road. So you'll be really close to those malls if you're living in Middletown. The suburb of Middletown has a population of 7,885 residents. Most people in this area own their own home and mostly the people have conservative political leanings in that area. It covers a five mile square area on the east end of Louisville. Now I thought it would be helpful if I highlighted one of the areas in Middletown and one of the homes that was recently sold there so you can see what you'll get for your money in Middletown, Kentucky. In September of 2022, the median sales price for a home in Douglas Hills, Kentucky, which is a neighborhood just next to Middletown, the median sales price was $389,500. Take a look at this house that recently sold last year. It sold for $400,000. It's four bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,080 square feet. You can see that this is a nice size house. It's been maintained really well. So this is what you can expect to see for a home out in the Middletown area. The next suburb I wanna talk about is Jefferson Town, Kentucky. We locals just refer to it as J-Town. J-Town is one of our largest suburbs in Jefferson County. It has just around 26,000 residents. It's located in Southeast Jefferson County and J-Town has everything that you'd be looking for. It has lots of shops and restaurants, especially this revitalized downtown area of J-Town off Taylorsville Road. There's Rec Bar and there's a Feast Barbecue. There's so many delicious restaurants down in that downtown J-Town area. Of course, just a little bit further from downtown J-Town is Sojourn J-Town, which is a great church located in that area. J-Town is gonna be a little bit more affordable for you in comparison to Middletown. In September of 2022, the median sales price was $277,450. You are gonna get a lot more home for your money in J-Town. Let's take a look at a house that recently sold. Now this house sold in August of this year, 2022. It sold for $315,500. It's a three bedroom, two bath, and it has 1,600 in 19 square feet. This home has many nice features as well. It's not quite as updated as the other home we looked at in Middletown, but this is the style of home you can expect to see out in J-Town. The third suburb that I want to highlight for you is St. Matthews, Kentucky. Now this is just a charming area located a little bit closer to the city than the other suburbs I've mentioned to you today. It's its own incorporated city located within Jefferson County. 
people tend to like this area because it's safe, family oriented, the houses are charming. I will say the houses are gonna be older and they're gonna be a little bit smaller. You're not gonna get as big of a house for your money in St. Matthews, but people just fall in love with the atmosphere and community that St. Matthews offers. The population is just above 18,000. When we look at the median sales price for September of 2022 in the St. Matthews area, it was right at $400,000. So this price point is a little bit higher. Let me show you what you can get for that price point in St. Matthews, Kentucky. This house is on Winchester Road. This is one of my favorite streets in St. Matthews. This house sold in August of 2022 for 380,000. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 2,482 square foot house. As you can see, this house has some updates. It has a lot of charm, but it is definitely smaller than the other houses that we've looked at. This is gonna be very typical of what you'll find in St. Matthews, Kentucky. I hope this video has been helpful for you about three of my favorite suburbs in Louisville, Kentucky. If you're interested in a little bit more information about moving to Kentucky, be sure to check out my video, Moving to Louisville, Kentucky. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.